Hey, what's going on everyone? Sinkaholic here with episode 15 of my Minecraft series, and welcome to the 1.3 update. That's right, I updated a few days ago when the update came out, and I am going to go check out some of the changes that they've made throughout the game. One of them being uh, they added some new temples in the rainforest area and the desert area. Um, I haven't found mine yet. Not really sure if I even have one since I've already had a, you know, a map already created. I, I might have to start a new one just to even see them, but uh, I've yet to locate one. But in my travels through the rainforest, I happened to stumble across something quite interesting. This massive ravine in front of me. Ta-da! It's a very large mine shaft, abandoned mine shaft. So I'm going to go down there and check it out. I was pretty excited to find this. It's opened up. It's pretty bright in there, so it should make things a little bit easier. And also, I, I have a new enchanted uh, axe there, as you can see, uh, that I'll be using in a moment that is pretty badass, so I'm going to be taking a lot of that wood down there. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit, go down, try to go down safely. So, yeah, they've, they've made some changes. They added some temples. They changed the texture of the gravel, which I'm not really sure why, but um, they did that. Um, added the temples. What else did they do? They done something with the, the server. You have an internal server now. But, hey, looky here, looky here. Forget all that. There are two spider spawners side by side. That, my friends, is what I've been looking for for a while now. You've seen in the last episode, I had my spider spawn trap that I made. And I was kind of disappointed that there's just one nearby because I've seen tutorials before where they've had two uh, spider traps side by side. So now I have one. Man, this axe is badass. Uh, efficiency 4, I think. And. Uh, it's efficiency and unbreaking, I think, or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty badass. We got another spawner in here. Oh, here's what they added damage from the water. Notice the water current is taking me up against the wall. And if I stop moving and it pushes me against the wall, I take damage. Yeah, so that sucks, but it is what it is. We'll have to work our way around it. Um, try to fight my way through here and stop the current from flowing. Man, that sucks. Originally, I thought it was a fence post, but I found out later that it no, it's just the water current uh, pushes you up against the wall, and you take a little bit of damage. It's not terribly bad, but it is quite annoying. So, anyways, I decided to opt out and doing anything with that zombie spawner. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and use this as my location for my little office area for these spider spawners. As you can see, I've dug out pretty good bit, got rid of some wood, and in that process, found another spider spawner right back here in the back. So now we're at a total of three. Ah, oh, this keeps getting better and better. And then looky here. What's this in the background? Number four. Number four spider spawner right here. And believe it or not, this is just a little bit too far away for me to all tie in together. So I did get rid of that one, but that's not the only one I found. I found three more around this area. I mean, there was like six or seven spider spawners in this one area. I don't know if this has been here the whole time or if this got added on when they did the update or what, but I was just super stoked. So I'm going to try to do a poorly made, not so much a tutorial because I'm going to skip through a bunch of this, but as you can see, I'm going to try to make some kind of XP grinder out of all three of these and tie them up together. So I really don't know exactly what I'm doing. This one's pretty easy because it's kind of all out by itself, but it's still within range. These two are so close that they kind of contradict one another, and it's a little bit difficult for me to figure out. But you can see I turned the dungeon, used their chest, and added some more chests, double chest them both. And I think I'll have it somewhere over in this area. So anyways... I laid a bunch of glass down, and I am kind of poorly put it together real quick. Um, I noticed that this 
taller spawner over there. I do have spiders climbing the wall. Wait a minute, I need that sword. Um, but I just kind of put this together just to see how this is going to work. So, it looks like it's flowing pretty good. Getting a little bit of XP. I do got to drop down to get some loot. Um, I am going to be adding some crushers to soften them for a one-hit kill with some splash potion. Um, I'm going to do the happy XP dance. Do the happy XP dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, thought I'd throw that in there. So anyways, here is the, uh, I guess you could say the final product. Um, I'm not entirely impressed with it, but for the amount of spiders this thing pumps out, it's ridiculous. I mean, within a matter of, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes tops, I can have over 200 spiders in this thing. Um, the spiders act a little different now since the update. You notice that they're jumping instead of just continuing to stay on that top block. Um, as you can see, here's my pistons, and then I have the row of repeaters here as a timer for the top piston to back off at the last second before it kills them. Uh, so here's a little overview of it, um, in case you ever want to decide you ever want to build one of these. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try here. Got some splash potion in hand. I'm not really too sure how many spiders are in this. Uh, yeah. And it, it's... The update's been good and it's been bad. Like I said, the, the, the spawners have been acting a little funny. The spiders themselves have been acting funny. They actually kind of warp out of that hole and are walking around beside me, but they're not really there. Um, you can't touch them, but they're standing right there next to you. It's really weird. So, uh, hopefully somebody will do something to explain how this, they're, why they're acting the way they are. So, I'm going to put this on peaceful. It's pretty loud. All right, so let's go through some other changes. Let's go back in here into the little office area and show you one little thing here. We've got the double chest, the furnaces, the crafting table, and then that little green chest right there. That would be known as the Ender chest. And an Ender chest is awesome. And I will tell you why it's awesome. Because when you put it here and you put things in there, if you put another Ender chest down, you can pull out of that so what I do is I have an ender chest at home that I can make my potions up in my laboratory, put them in the ender chest, and then when I come all the way over here, because I'm about 700 blocks away from home, uh, the items will be there and I can take them. So it's kind of like a little teleport thing for a chest, I guess. I don't know. I like it. It's really cool. It's going to come in handy. Here's my Teletubby sheep farm. And uh, let's see what else... Uh, Oh, they changed the XP system, too, uh, and the enchanting table as well. Uh, the enchantments now uh, stop at level 30 instead of 50, so you really don't need that much XP. And also, the, um, the XP you get from... Uh, you get XP from mining and smelting. Uh, items, uh, so that, I mean, the max is 30, and you can pile up 30 XP real quick. I mean, you don't even need a monster spawner. You can just be digging coal and get 30 XP, so I'm going to go ahead and make up a, uh, let's see, I'm gonna make a diamond sword here real quick, and we'll go upstairs and enchant it just to show you how the uh, changes are. Hopefully we'll do something good with this, but um, I've been stacking up some diamonds pretty good bit. All right. So I'm going to go upstairs here. And before you needed like 30 to 32 bookcases to make this design. Uh, now I think all you need is 15 bookcases. Um, basically the same scenario, just like without one wall. Uh, we'll get you the max XP, you, or the maximum enchantment, I'm sorry. But as you can see, they've also made it to where the uh, highest level of enchantment is always going to be down at the bottom. And I don't have 30 XP, I've only got 28, so it's not lighting up, but... Uh, we're going to shoot for the middle one here and try to find something in the 20s, if not 19 or 18, somewhere in there. Um, so you got a pretty good chance of getting something good. Um, it's a whole lot easier now to do it instead of getting 50 XP and then wasting it all on something that you're only going to get, like, you know, crap on there, like Smite 3. Okay, that was a waste. But anyways, like I said, you, you can get 30 XP in no time at all. So... 
All right. Uh, here we go. The splash potions. My little chest where I make them and I store them in here and keep my ingredients. So what we'll do is we'll go downstairs and we will put them in the ender chest. And then, like I said, next time I'm over there at the spider spawn, I can open up the ender chest and all of this stuff will be there. And I don't have to carry it with me throughout my travels and worry about dying and losing it. So back to the getting XP. You only get XP off of mining coal, redstone, uh, the Lapalupsi blue stuff, and um, diamonds. And the reason for that is because you don't get the ore, you actually get the item when you mine it. So you get the little coal nuggets. It doesn't work with iron or gold because you get the actual ore, you get the block. Um, and if you were able to get XP from that, then I will give you an example. Let me go up here and find some iron real quick. Got to be some iron around here somewhere. There we go. And gold, so perfect. There's some iron and gold. So anyways, you don't get any XP for mining uh, iron or gold. And the reason for it is because you get the blocks. And I'll show you why. You could just simply go back into what you just dug and place it down on the ground. And basically remine it. And you would continue to get XP. So obviously they're not going to do that. And... Uh, there you go. So that's kind of a basic rundown of the changes. They've also done a few minor changes. They've made some items that weren't stackable before uh, stackable now. Uh, one of the biggest ones I found was the signs. Um, <laughs> I went to make signs for that XP grinder, or for, for the uh, spider spawn trap, and I put a bunch of wood and a bunch of sticks up to make uh, some signs and I end up making about 300 signs because they stack in stacks of 16 now and uh, it uh, and they also make multiples of three instead of one so that's just about it well guys this has been episode 15 of my minecraft series my name is Inkaholic thank you for stopping by and please give me a rating and we will catch you guys next time for episode 16 take care